does that come back to what you said earlier about your your YouTube channel? And when I asked you about mountain bike companies, and you said, oh, you know, maybe if I had more views, then the brands would be like, is the onus on brands? And I've worked brands who look at this sort of stuff. And they go, right, he's got X million subscribers. Let's put some money behind him as a as an influencer, as yeah, opposed I... to how how do how do brands bridge that gap between bigger numbers and highly engaged audiences i think i think brands are smarter these days i think they used to um so part of the old group that we uh, that i worked for had like an influencer arm to it right and when you're initially having sort of conversations they were like well, how many followers have they got and they'd be like oh here we go <laughs> um whereas those like micro influencers are are often way more powerful yeah. So, if um, uh, so, I'm I've got two canyons uh, mountain bikes, uh, and I'm looking at another canyon. Like, if Canyon came to me and said, "Oh, hey James, uh, like, do you want this bike for twelve months, and we want you to make a dozen videos?" I'd be like, "Yep, yep, I'll do whatever you want." Like, you wouldn't need to pay me. Like, I'd be like, "I'm there. I'm going to go out on my bike now." Like, but because I've got a small audience, it comparatively to to a lot. Like, yeah. and I just love doing what you, those smaller people are more grateful for that support. I think when you get to the bigger ones, like that's their business, right? That's their, that's their livelihood. And so they, yeah. they want to be paid for. I'm going to um, tag Canyon into this clip, by the way. Yes, please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a Canyon spectral that I'm after. Um, um, yeah. So I, I, I think, you know, certainly smaller brands, if they look at those micro influencers and, you know, if you sell, um, I, don't know, I bought, uh, I bought some plants for somebody the other day online from a, yeah. from a company called patch and a mate of mine, Kirsty, uh, who runs, um, social circle in Birmingham, she'd had an operation. I was like, cool, let's send her some plants. She's got like a really engaged following on Instagram and is like, her house is covered in plants. I'm yeah. like, she'd be the perfect person for Patch to just be like, we're just going to send you a send you a plant, like because she would instantly post about it and yeah. be like, oh, you know, we're sorry to hear you've like had a tough time recently. Here's a little plant on us. Like that's that's a smart move, you know. Whereas, arguably, they could go after like a home influencer with a million yeah. subscribers and pay them a bunch of money, and you know, it's about it's about being smart, just making sure that the people you're working with are. Are the you know are the right audience kind of thing, so um, I hundred percent agree with that. Yeah, one of these days there'll be a big box arrive from Canyon. <laughs> Let's just get that in there again. <laughs> Canyon Spectral. I will link to James's uh, channel in the uh, in the show notes in case anyone from Canyon just happens to be perusing YouTube in their lunch uh, hour. One of these days. One of these. Don't days. ask. You don't get James. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 